a on a server. You're only connected by a voice. So it's not like you're on a server playing in the same game. Yeah. It's so, a bit like the, a bit like gotta, the gotta, other one that we played, gotta, the um the one we like the one way radio game that we played that time. So yeah, I mean kinda of like the don't don't like that bomb game. Yeah. Don't let you know all this. Yeah. So basically you're just uh telling the other person what you see and reading what you find and vice versa and So basically working cooperatively like we've never been able to do in the past in all yeah. the cooperative like games I, like before. I said before. This so, should go swimmingly. <laughs> yeah, I haven't figured out a way to put uh, rockets in this one yet. So <laughs> you should have no deaths. No deaths at all. All right. All right. Uh, all right let me... Whoops. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start playing. Wait for you to come in. Uh, which player are you gone? Uh, what player one? Okay, today you and your friend received two strange packages, each contained an old clock. You received a package from someone called Amelay Raven, and your friend got one too. All right. Okay. Yeah. Saturday, June the 20th, 2020. Correct. I've got a package Pepper from Crip. Denmark. Yep. Uh, dear player two, I sent you a clock. I sent one clock to you and one clock to a friend. If you want to play a game, look into the past together. Remember to wind the clocks up. Okay, this clock is part of a game, a gift I made for my sister. To have a fighting chance, play with a friend and tell each other what you read and see. If you find my sister, tell her I miss her. Emily. I don't know how you're even supposed to say that name, but... All right, I got a, I got a, a pocket watch. I got a newspaper cl uh, clipping as well. Yeah, I do. I got the... So, it's ripped, and the headline is Another Disappearance Straw, S-T-R-I. Strikes our village, it will be because I've got KES and then our village. Okay. Uh, the youngest member of the renowned clockmaker family, Lark, I don't know that AE combo, how to pronounce that, was reported missing yesterday. Her sister, Emily, told us she had last seen her at 10 30. Understandably distressed, she later corrected her statement and said it must have been an hour and a half later. Contact. If you have seen her or heard anything unusual, please contact the police. And it's so dated it, Tuesday, March fourteenth, nineteen thirty-seven. Uh, that was a couple of days ago. Yeah, just yeah, an hour and a half later, ten thirty. So that makes uh, twelve o'clock. But don't know a.m. or p.m. And I got a, like I said, a uh, pocket watch with Emily, or I'm just going to call her Emily. Uh, 1915 is the date. It has 1915 hyphen and then nothing. Well, I mine's got um, uh, Layark, or I think the the watchmaker people that you said in your part of the article. And mine says 1917 to 1937. Dude said, dude, uh, kicked a bucket at 20 years old and Emily's still alive. Yeah, uh, okay. And the time is 6.15 on the And I've got, thing. I got 7 o'clock on mine. So that's, that's 47, and I am winding it up. I'm trying to wind it. Uh, nothing's really happening. Okay. Well, I'm uh, winding, I was, I'm winding mine, and I sort of like, my vision's kind of like going kind of thing, if that makes sense. Yeah, like in the four corners, kind of. But it doesn't seem to be getting worse or anything. Okay, so I can move the, move the minute hand manually as well. Uh, yeah, uh, put it on 12 o'clock is what I'm going to do, because she was an hour and a half ahead. And, yep, that did it. I'm okay. going through a time warp.
this is a copy I made of the world that the Ark and I used to know. Um, Layark one. went Layark went missing in 1937, but it all started years before. 2020, ooh, and going backwards very fast. 1927. Mm-hmm. All right, hey, looks like a bus stop or train depot. Yep. Or something. Yeah, trains, I see uh, the train crossing signs on the top of the hill. 12 o'clock on the thing. There's an arrow at the bottom. And the little gadget screen is missing a right arrow button. Yep, I got exactly the same. Uh, although my clock is now uh, at 1 o'clock. Going to the left uh, is Raven's Clocks. Yep. Hours are from 3 to 9. And then we have a well. And With some lanterns. And out at the bottom of the well is... I'm just going on. Something with uh, three buttons and then... All right, see what you've got. I got three buttons I can click on that changes what appears above them. And I got the upper left, the bottom middle, and the upper right. Uh, yeah, I've got exactly the same ones. And then I'm guessing there's a lever on the side to actually confirm your options once you've done it. Okay, so so I'm have... wondering if this is connected to the um, like the machine in the in the bus station. So you're saying your your buttons are on the upper left, the bottom, middle, and upper right? Sorry, no, no. Um, bottom left, upper middle, bottom right. Okay, so we got the exact opposite. Tell me what you have in your upper left slot then. Uh, I've got black triangle. All right, hold on. All right, and bottom middle. Uh, it's like a open uh, see-through square. And the other one, upper is... right. Uh, clear see through triangle. All right, my which, uh, your bottom left uh, is the same as bottom middle. Yep, top middle. Uh, uh, top middle is a balloon, clear White. or filled in. See-through, invisible, okay. white. <laughs> Bottom right. Bottom right is a uh, black balloon. Okay, I guess we press the levers. Press the levers. Okay, something opened. Oh, yep, opened it's the up. button. And I have, yep, got the uh, button for the uh, train thing. Yep. All right, there's nothing else here, so... Let's uh, yeah. skedaddle. Climbing the ladder, climbing the ladder, climbing the ladder. Go back to the left. And now there's a house. Yeah. And there's some. I'm looking at a light bulb that I just turned on, and a moth flew over and landed on the bulb. Hopefully, it burns up into a ball of flames. But, uh, it says, and there's a part of a train, like a model train on a shelf or something. And I got words, words that came up that says, Blair, hope, like, present, it, three, clockwise, that type. Yeah, there's missing words. Okay, well, Do you I've have got, any words? I haven't got any words on the house. Um, when I clicked on the house, what? I've got... What do you a, have in your room? I've got a jack in the box that's unopened. Right, can you... And I see a bird cage in the background, like the shadow of a bird cage. Is there anything so... you can do in there to. Because I got words, and I would imagine you would have words that would fill in that would make this make sense. Okay, so did you say something about clockwise and anti clockwise? I mean, counter Well, it says uh uh, the words I have, which are fixed spaces in between certain ones, uh, Lark, hope, blank, like, blank, present, blank, it, three, 
three blank clockwise, blank anti-clockwise. So because I'm blank like, turning clockwise. Because on my above my like handle for the jack in the box, there's like um like a little button that it can kick up. So I'm wondering if I just need to turn it the right direction so many times. That's possible. Oh, hold on, my train thing. Ah, I just turned my train wheel. It's a steam engine, and it blew out all the words, the rest of the words. Okay, here we go. Clark, I hope you like your present. Turn it. I, I want to say it correctly. Turn it counterclockwise three times. All right, Alan. So go, go. One. Do that. Two. Th three. Clockwise twice. Four. Five. Yep. And counterclockwise twice. And then keep turning it clockwise. And do not let go. Okay, something popped out. And looks like it's... Okay, so it's like a train ticket. And it looks like it's like a witness puzzle. It's kind of got like a route of some sort. So I guess we're going to need to punch this in and get the train to go to the destination. We've got buttons, but we're gonna need. I can't take it with me though, so. So. Start. I. I mean, it's only half a ticket. Half is ripped, but it looks like we started. Kind of, the the train was. I didn't notice the train was bottom left on the grid, and it goes up, turns right, goes two out, turns left. Okay, so is it is it a six by eight? Oh well, it's half a ticket, so is it six by four? It's it's definitely six. Um, it's more than four, though. Yeah, but generally you said you had half a ticket. Yeah. Okay, so it's probably well. That would be the at the little waiting station. That's what that. So that's the answer to. I just gotta find the other half of that ticket then. And I notice every time if you scroll to the left. You come back around, it goes backwards an hour, and if you go scroll to the right and come back around to the clock, it goes up an hour. All right, so then maybe we need to go to so, the right uh, time so that up, the shop opens, yeah. Uh, yeah, 3 to 9, so I want to go to 9 o'clock. And now the lights are on. Uh, i got to hold the radio. I guess, are you there yet, or? Uh, no, almost, I'm getting there. I'm at six. It's three to days. nine, so if you're at six, you've already been there. I uh, thought you, I'm sorry, I, I misheard what you said. I thought I said I need to go to nine, so that's why I was. Uh, no, they're, they're open from three to nine, so as long as you see okay. lights on, you're good. So. Uh, you got a radio? Yeah, I've got a radio, I've got a load of clocks, a staircase. <clears throat> yeah. It says private above the staircase. All the clocks are reading. Are the, clocks, kind of... are the clocks related to the, the frequency, though? Because is the frequencies here 24-hour clocks? Uh... The time is yeah, like 1845, but that's not on there, so, okay. Well, that's well, that's about 15 minutes before our time at the train station. Okay. So all these clocks are 15 minutes early, whatever that means. Uh, 15 minutes uh, uh, hold on. late, aren't they? I moved the uh, radio over, and I got weird. First one is shortly after... 525, like a quarter away ever. Last month, the police started getting several reports of pets going. Dot, dot, missing, dot. missing, mostly old cats and dogs. Let's hope they are so all soon, all found soon. Okay. And there's another one right before 820. The oldest uh, Raven daughter. Emily is a brilliant clockmaker and inventor. Her footsteps. Da, da, da. Are usually followed by the ticking and scuttering of one of her creations, and then a little mouse or something just came down the stairs and went back up again. 
Uh, yeah, I got something. Oh, it's a little wind-up thing. Yeah. Looks more like a cockroach than a mouse. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, let's see. The next one I got is about almost halfway after 820. Uh, yeah. The Raven family moved here a month ago and I have worked day and night. To be able to open their clock shop today, the 18th. All right, the 18th. Right at about 11, 15. Another pet has been stolen during the night. This time it was Mrs. Jenkins. Sweet old farm dog. Remember to lock your doors until this thief has been caught. Yeah. Hide, hide your wife. Hide your... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just before 14, 10. 14, 10. A strange occurrence has shook our village. Groves of lifeless. Uh, birds have been found scattered across the forest floor. Bastards killing birds. No more walking for five miles to get your letters. It's now March and the... Uh, Construction of our very own post office will start at the end of the month. Uh, there's one more almost at the end. A uh, non-usual white raven seems attached to the youngest member of the raven family. Let's hope for her sake that it will not go missing like those other pets. Alright. Uh, that's all I got. Let me click on these clocks and see if I can do anything. Some white feathers further up. Oh, I got a scroll oh. looking thing. I got a news plaque on the wall as well. I got a calendar of January. Uh, I can change the date. And okay, what was 1927? What was the date? Uh, well, they no, August. 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 The 18th was just mentioned. Yeah, that was Wednesday. So August. Let me change it to Wednesday. Shit. Uh, all right, eighteenth. August twenty seventh, Wednesday, eighteenth. That should have done something about that. Cause Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Well, I've got the. It was August. But... Yeah, I've got I've got the Wednesday edition of the news here. Um, in Raven's Clock Shop, you can buy all kinds of clockwork request commissions and get your old clock repaired. Today, grand opening of Clock Shop. The world-renowned clockmaker, Mr. Raven, has opened his opened a new clock shop in our town. He is said to be an interesting char, maybe character. I'm kind of, sort of missing the rest. And then it comes back to saying the level of detail is exquisite. Our own queen is said to have had a couple of elegant pieces. Today, he is opening his, and that's all I got. For some reason, I'm thinking August. Was there a different month? Wasn't it March? All right, well, let me try March. Yeah, it was March. Ah, got a, got a half of a train ticket. And yeah, so it's a six by eight. And that's what it is. Okay. So I got the right, the right, the right half of the path. You got the left half. I got some books. Oliver's Travels. Watchmaking. I can click. Bottle, other stuff. Fools. They all make different sounds when I click on them, so nothing helpful. And on the floor, I got this rolled up piece of, looks like paper or something, but I click on it and it just makes a sound and hops. Yeah, I've got a couple of feathers that just do that as well. Uh, I want to go to the train... And put in the button. I will go back and just take another look at my um, ticket. Because oh uh, yeah, that'll probably, that'll probably be a good idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, All right, ticket, ticket. You would think that would be something, okay, so my side would be, well, I'm coming from you from the lower, from the very bottom, I can tell that. Yeah, so let me put so up, the, up. 
button in. Up three over to you, up one right to you. All right. Well, do yours, and then I'll tell you what I have. Because I'm sure I, I am. I am up two. Uh, right three. Down two. And then that's all I got. Okay, now go right one. Yep. Uh, up. Uh, three. Sorry. <laughs> yep. Uh, right two. And yep. then up, up one, right one. Ching, ching. All right. So... Oh, there's a train on the hill. Uh, hold on. I got to go put my crap in. See if I can remember that. Let's see. Up one. Right. No, was it up two? Yeah, up two. Up two. Right three. Right three. Down. And then right one. Up three. Right two. Up one. Right one. There we go. Choo choo. And my eyes are getting sleepy here. Ah, train at the top of the hill. So, what was with the paper and the feathers? I don't know, I think it's just a reference to the white raven that um, they had as a pet, possibly. Um, but where the rest of that paper was, I don't know. I mean, mine was just like a rolled up piece of paper looking thing like a, kind of like a scroll but not a scroll you know yeah i mean it was just yeah. a, i mean they just sort of framed like the newspaper article from the day of the story opening the store from what i could see on my end so well like i said on mine on the floor was just a rolled up piece of yeah. paper and you could click on it whatever i could well chapter two it was getting harder to find animals for my experiments but i still knew one i could get access to easily I told Laic I was making her a clock, but she wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. Stupid bird. 1927. And the idea, going... the Iron though, is to, is like the is to communicate. It's well, you're not meant to see the other person's screen. So. 1932. Oh, and there's our track. Up, crossed off. So now we must have a different one. Somewhere, and it's on midnight again. So, well, I mean, the shop's open. Open, so open hours. We've never got the post office now, instead of the way, the well. Now we got a music shop, and I hope. Oh, uh, there's that little bug, little wind up bug. All right, I'm looking at a whole bunch of, uh, like mailboxes or something. Are right, you going in the post office? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I had I called the music shop because they had a. Well, it's a, a it's post office because if um, if you remember, they uh, when we was reading the radio bits, they said that you wouldn't have to walk far for your post anymore because they're in the process of building a post office. So yeah, well, that's what this is, and what I have is uh, uh, mailboxes three wide. And starting at the top, 14, 16, 18, and then all going down, 24, 26, 28, 34, 36, 38, 44, 46, 48. And then each one of them has a button on it. And then above the button is four uh, hands, kind of like uh, it would be, yeah, like north, south, east, west, as well okay. as. Uh, north, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest positions as well. Other than that, I can't do anything. So there, Iron Smell Tree. Um, yeah, I've I've just got like a, an actual post box in front of me. Um, um, I've clicked on pretty much everything, and nothing's doing anything. So I wonder if I need to like post something into this post box for it to do something. Uh, I need to know directions apparently and the box number so yeah I've, i mean i've got nothing okay, hold on a second hey, what's up i'm streaming I, i'm in the middle of streaming right now 
Uh, I heard I heard it, but I haven't been able to check anything. Is there anything important? Too learned. Yeah, when I get done with this, I'll do that. Okay, bye bye. All right, I'm in the house, and I have a fireplace, some wood, a fire, a deer, a skull. All right. Oh, I'm, a door. I'm in like a like a servant's kind of area, it's like a service area. Um, I've got six different rooms with bells, almost like if you were to like call for a maid from a certain room, it'll tell you where they've called in from. Um, I've also got a note that says, I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. So I'm guessing okay, I need wow. to press the button, the bells in the right order. Okay, well, I opened the door and now I'll scroll down and I'm in, like, basically a basement. Let's see, I got a... Oh, I got a barrel that I pulled a cork out of and now it's leaking out. Oh, and it's... It licked out liquid as well as words. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Larry. Look after, and then that stops after look after. All right. So I guess in study is possibly the first room. Oh, uh, oh hold on. I just made a word ball, and it's got words on it. Uh, look after. It really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. So that's the kitchen. Okay. Study and kitchen. Yes. Study, pantry. Let's see. I got a little gecko or something down here and I'll trap. Scared him to the other side. Come on, dude, do something. Sell me some insurance for 15% <laughs> off. Ah, there he goes. Oh, he went into the trap. Hey. Uh, holy crap, okay. Now it's the kittens found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. Dining okay, hall. So Five years, all right. And that's, that looks to be, let me see. Paint brushes, paint, I like white paint. Uh, like so i've got three more rooms which uh, i've got a front door the music room and the office which obviously we haven't touched base on mm. anything else you can do or no literally i just got a, you know I left you something downstairs. It'll be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. That's all I've got. Now we know study, pantry, and dinner table. The other two, the other three rooms are front door, music room, and office. So. All right. Well, let's... we'll come back. I've, I've I've made a note of that. Let's, yeah. Um, let's see. Go to the. I get the. I'll make it till three o'clock. I won't go see if anything in Raven's clock shop. Yeah, I'll get a nine o'clock. It'll be a rebel. I change it to two o'clock, and there's like a. There's a chime. Don't know if that's significant. Oh, uh, I am in, and yeah, now I'm looking at I'm looking at a raven, a white raven. Do not remove these tools. I will work when the clock shop is closed. Ah. 
Well, I have a key to the clock shop. Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's good, because my name says don't remove these tools, which is just a couple little things. Uh, I will work when the clock shop is closed, so we would need the key to get in when it was okay, closed. Okay, so I've also, I've also just picked up a letter which looks like it has a key in it as well. So I presume I've got to put that in the post box. Probably. Sounds, sounds like I've a got, thing. I've got nothing else. I've got like a, I've got a box <clears throat> with my name on it. I've got a lantern that I can't pick up. I've got a picture of the back of a girl with a white raven and a clock, which once again is 45 minutes fast. <clears throat> so... Or it was it 45 minutes fast or 15 minutes slow? Now that's the question. It might actually just be the right time, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't tell the time. All right, so I'm going to go to the post office first. Uh, um, my answer, uh, I got a thing that says apprenticeship. Dear Emily, I am pleased to inform you that you have been chosen as my new apprentice. Your experiments with time extractions are truly groundbreaking. I agree that our short lifespan is deeply unfair, especially for people like us who keep improving the world, pushing it forward. I am looking forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. You are sincerely Clarissa Shah, Master Watchmaker. Okay. Um, so she's going to Switzerland. Well, uh, that's where they make clocks, man. All right, so okay. got two options here. So I just went and used my letter in the post box, and it's given me some coordinates for you. But I've also okay. got, I've also back. got the key. I've also got the key for opening the clock shop out of hours as well. All uh, right, uh, do you have a box number? Yeah, so it's box twenty-eight. Alright, 28, 28. Okay, 28 and... It's northwest. Northwest. West. West, got it. Southwest. Southwest, got it. East. Alright. And that was it. And I got a letter with my name on it. Should be the key Can that I've just written. sent you, I think. Uh, yeah, it has your name on the back end. I have a key, yes. All right, Here's so your key to the clock shop, Emily. When you're done working, could you help me look for my raven, Eric? Sure, no problem. But right now, I'm going to work after hours. It's okay, so I've just entered the shop, and I've got two books on my table now. One called Gemstones, and one called Horology. I'm trying to go... I'm trying to, I'm just going back in time until the shop is closed. How far forward did you go? <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. All right. And now we are working after. Okay, I got a. Well, zoom on in there, why don't you? Okay, now I have an open pocket watch. Stupid white raven's looking at it like he knows what the hell he's doing. Uh, it's the back of it's open. I have, and the raven is nudging it. Anyway, there's uh, four colored beads: a green, a red, a white, and a like a brownish orangey combination. Yep. Okay. And then, and then there, uh, there's some gears. I can rotate those. And there's a lifesaver looking thing I can turn, and there's a dial in the middle of that I can not turn. Never mind. All right, so oh, yeah, I, can. I can I can move that as well. Yeah. All right, so I've got I've got quite a bit here. So I've got gemstone I've got gemstones, but which tells me each what each one of the coloured um, gems are that you've got. You can see there. Okay. Um, so the green one is. Malasite, I think is how you pronounce it, is a copper mineral known for its green color and can be used to create durable pigments. Uh, the white, malachite. Malachite, sorry. The white one is quartz, is, which is commonly used for in making of clocks due to its ability to channel energy. 
The ruby, yeah, the red one. Oh, that's obvious. Uh, ruby is red, is a hard and durable gemstone that can be ease friction in mechanical instruments. And then, and then you've got a tiger's brown eye. Brown and orange. Yeah, tiger's a tiger's eye, eye can be used as a conductor due to its layering of quartz crystals. Okay, so those are the four I'm working so with. So then I then got another book, which is my um, horology book, New Methods of Measuring Time. Through multiple studies, Miss Shah figured out that a timepiece would be more precise when using only quartz in the channeling plate. I think the uh, sequence okay. will be more accurate with additional benefit of storing of so storing time. The tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. Okay. The malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. Okay. The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Okay. And then we've got balance. For the highest precision point, the balance needle but the balance needle towards the third quartz. Point it instead towards the malachite. Stores time better, uh, apparently. That, sorry, uh, this, I'm, I'm reading bits from the book, and then it's like, because it's your book, you've kind of like made notes in the book. So if it seems a bit gotcha. weird. Um, when everything is set uh, for optimal accuracy, wind the clock up by turning the top right <coughs> gear clockwise twice. Um, then you've put, once the lid has closed, test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. This should initiate the extraction process. Alright. Alright, uh, go back to the Yeah yeah. The 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 uh, stands. So Tiger's so right, eye right should be uh, left uh, of the quartz. Uh, right, yeah, right now I got Tiger's Eye on the far left and I got uh uh then I got the uh shit. Malachite, what was that? <laughs> so, the, so, yeah, so it's even got to and be... Then I, and, then I got the, and then I got the quartz, and then I got the ruby. Now that, that should do it, from what you said, I believe. The tiger's eye, tiger's the, eye is left of quartz, yeah? Yeah. The Malachite is... I got tiger's eye all the way on the left, so it's left of everything. The Malachite uh, is not on either of the far sides, and it is yeah, not... so I got that one next, that's second... Which and is, it's not next to the ruby. Yeah, right. So I put the ruby on the far right, and then I got the quartz next to the malachite. Okay. All right. Well, Seems good to me. Then point the needle okay, towards yeah. the malachite. Yeah, it closed. Now I'll turn it to twelve. And turn it. Turn the top yep, okay. gear clockwise twice if you haven't already done that. Yeah, I'm going through a little spiral thingy. Oh, uh, now it's, uh... I didn't go anywhere, but it, the minute hand is going back and forth between 12.15 and 12.30 a few times, and then it spins around in a circle and starts over. It might be a pattern. Hold on. One, two, three, one, 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 two. One, two, three, three, one, one, two, one, 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 three, one, one, two, one. Let me go and um, let me go back well, to the house. Well, it's it's, it's three, it does three o'clock. It does three o'clock three times. Uh, six o'clock. Uh, once, and it goes back to three o'clock once, and then six o'clock once twice, and then three o'clock once. So it goes back and forth between them three one one two one. So it just alternates between them, and then yeah. All right. Well, it's either something to do with the um, the bells in the house, or three one one two one. Uh, It could be something to do with the chiming clock. 
because the clock chimes each time you go past it. I don't know. Let me let's try let's try the bell thing first. Three, one, one, two, one. No. See if I have anything different. Wonder if there's any more coordinates or anything. Uh, can you still see chat seven seven silhouette wants to know? Say what? Can you still see chat? Uh, hold on. Let me... Chat uh, hold on. Expand. Let me pop it out. Now. Seems like he may have broken your map. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Or he may have done it intended. Uh, if you used uh, space to finish it that you think you shouldn't have, then you didn't break it. <laughs> All right, nothing's new in the house. We, we got to work out this code though, because surely it, it's it's got to come down to this music code. There must be something we're missing when you went down to the basement. There must be more to that somewhere. Uh, this is um, TikTok Hotel for two. Alright, let me see if I can do anything. Anything else. Uh, oh, well, I can zoom in on it. Alright. One, two, three. One, one, two, one. Three one one two one. Yeah, that's what I wrote down. Three one one two one. I mean, I applied that to, I applied yeah. that to like just the sequential ones, and then I applied it to the order that we found out the rooms as well, and neither of those kind of worked. Hmm. It's like three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. Three, 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 six, six, three, three. Uh, three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. That's your three, one, one, two, one. That's the times, three o'clock, six o'clock. So it's doing uh, the three o'clock three times, and then once each on six and three, and then twice on six, and then once on three. Whether that has anything to do with it or not, right. no idea. Let's, let's try, because I mean, I've got six bells. I mean. No. 
No, no, and no. Let me see if there's anything else on this letter. That. And all these mailboxes, you would think. Why is this one missing? Ah, no, it's not. I think there would be more. I mean, I, I got literally nothing else to click on at all in this post office. I know, Steve, do you have a little... Uh, when I go to the train station, uh, there's a... It looks like a little tiny, smaller error at the bottom of the screen. It's not on any other page. What, bottom left? No, bottom center. Mm. Like if you, no, I like haven't got anything your, bottom center. Yeah, it looks like the big error, the triangle. On the bottom, but it's uh, you only see the top part of it. I mean, I've got I've got a big triangle on all in front of all four of my things. Um, yeah, I mean that stays on the screen. I'm just saying when I go to the train track, there's the the tip of another one below that. If you if you're in the middle now, if I move to the left or right, it stays it stays with the screen, not not with my error. But it's the only page it has it on. No, I've, I haven't got that. Well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, We haven't had any like times or anything really, have we? Any sort of like noticeable times? If we wind it back to twelve o'clock. Yeah, I'm on twelve o'clock right now. Uh, is there anything in the shop at twelve o'clock? Uh, just my vision kind of goes in some, but yeah, it's still just the clock. Uh, the watch, pocket watch, doing its kicky little thing. And the only thing I can do with it is zoom in on it. One, two, three. Back to six. Back to three. Mm. Back to six. Back to three. No, nothing. Huh. There's definitely nothing else down the basement. Mm. Yes. 
got to be with that the clock at the train station. I mean, that, that dinging. It's yeah, not, only, it's not only, dinging for no reason. I mean, I just went through and I tried it, but using the threes you, and the sixes, but. Did you try three, uh, three o'clock, one o'clock? Well, I no, I, didn't, I, anyway. I didn't try that. No, what's going on, Clan? Oh, welcome, welcome. Hey, Aqua Planner. But it'll only oh. ch it'll only chime when you're coming from the previous hour. So when you're traveling forward in time, it doesn't chime when you go back in time. Right. Yep. So if you need it to chime. I think it's a bit far fetched to have to go through the whole clock each time. No, but like uh, you could do it to where. Uh, hold on, let me look at those hands again. Hold on, because I was just thinking you can you can go around. Okay, it's going around to the right when it starts, and then it goes. Hold on, let me watch this again. Because you can do it if you're on the. Page, you can uh, roll it to the left or to the right, to or to the left of it, and then go back to the clock, and it dings. You can do that ever and ever just by going one page and back. Yeah. Uh, that might be it. Hold on. Okay, round, boom, boom, back three times. But yeah, I, I get that that's going around twice. Yeah, it goes around twice after. Oh, I just realized it, uh, it's, it's not obviously what we're uh, looking into at the minute. I just realized why the clock in the clock shop is always at 45. Because as you turn a quarter of a screen, it's turning 15 minutes. Yeah. That's 15 minutes until. So that would obviously be 45 on the clock. So, so like the post office would be. Half past. Half hour, yeah. 15 on the house, yeah. Uh, uh, let's see, let's do one, two, three. One, one, two, Now, there's so many, so many ways you can. Mess around with that three one one two one. Oh, 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 oh. oh. What do you got? 
uh, yeah, it's not three o'clock and six o'clock. It's fifteen after and thirty after. Twelve fifteen and twelve thirty, which I said to start with, but completely forgot about that. So it'd be twelve fifteen three times, twelve thirty once, twelve fifteen okay. once, twelve that thirty makes sense. twice, and twelve fifteen once. So go back to twelve. And then you would go to so go right once, and then back, and right once, back, right once. Then it goes to the right, and then back to the left, to the right, twice, and then back to the left. Interesting. So that was interesting. That I, I just followed those sort of coordinates. I've got that little weird double arrow now as well, by the way. Um, yeah, when you're at 12 o'clock, I think. Because that, that's actually the hands. The small one is the hour hand, and the big one is the minute hand. That's what that is. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. So, so, so that's the direction you're facing. So you can tell what time it is on the clock. Yeah, that just hit me. So I just did that. Uh, I just did those codes, and when I went back in time, it actually, yeah, it pinged for me. I don't know what that's done though. Normally, when you go back in time, it, the, the clock doesn't ping. But after doing that little sequence, it did make a little ting. But as for what happens after that, We're still missing something though with the clock and yeah I'm looking everywhere uh, it's got to be So it's not going full on. All right, let me try that again. Yeah, it's definitely uh it's definitely a uh we're definitely missing definitely missing something obvious here, I think Mika. Alright, what it's do what the minute hand is doing it changes which way, so it's it's moving slightly off, like 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 it moves one minute off. So if you were on screen and you moved ever slightly and let go, it would snap back to center. Okay. So what it's doing when it starts is it goes around twice clockwise and past the 12:15 point, uh, just a little, and snaps back three times, and then it goes. Uh, 
to the 1230 one, past it to the right, and then goes back to the 1215, but to the left, and then to the right of the 1230 one, and then back to the left. So it's going, it starts out on the right side of the three, going to the right of it, and then after that it's to the right of the 1230 and to the left of the 1215. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when you, when you, I've just tried doing the code again. It seems if you don't get it right, you get kind of like a, a winding noise, like a reset kind of noise. <clears throat> I haven't gotten anything yet. Oh, I, I can, I can get the chime noise. So apparently when I'm, I can't do it. You have to do it, whatever it is, because it's not doing anything for me. So apparently it, this is something that you have to do. All right. So one, two, three to six, back to 15, to there, there, to there. Oh, I'm not even get the chime now. Huh. Maybe, maybe you have to rub your belly while you pat your head. One, two, three. Oh, hold on. I think it may be because there is like a little sound each time you do it. It's almost like you got to let it register, I think. getting it now I don't know I don't know what I'm doing differently now yeah that I have short class now to go especially for a little bit of a we're helping you to I did it really quickly and I got the chime. Uh, I wonder what that means. So I'm not finding anything any different that I can do on my end that You can't, um, just thinking out loud here, you can't, like, post me back the watch at all, can you? You went out the, uh... Yeah, I wouldn't have thought so, because, I mean, 
I haven't got access to any like post office boxes or anything, but and I can only look at the letter. Right. And uh, <clears throat> I would, I don't know. There's, that, I've tried. Surely that leads us back to the house, then. I mean, I've tried going doing different things with the letter, but <clears throat> the only thing I let you do is click on it to help you read it better. Then, then it goes back. Can't be stuck here already. Yeah, if, you, if you click on the bushes outside of the house, they move. <laughs> uh, so I the upstairs of the house is quite pointless. <laughs> Jesus, Bailey. <laughs> Swear. There's Man, nothing, nothing up there's nothing up top then. I mean the only thing's up there that does anything other than when I first opened the door to go downstairs is a fire which I can just click on and it like other things, it just does a little quick animation and that's it. I got, so, I mean, uh, got I mean, some wood. Uh, there's um the, the six rooms I've got on this thing are kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, and dining hall. So, from the words and things you found before, we think we've identified the kitchen, the study, and the dining hall. I mean, when you Seems kind of so. go through the, when you go through the house as such, are you going through the rooms in a particular order? Or, I mean, is there any sort of like differentiating factors between the rooms? The only thing I got is the, where the fireplace is and the basement. That's it. I just noticed I can slide these jars across, but I think that was, ooh. Uh, I think that was just to scare the lizard. But I didn't do that. I just clicked on them before. Found anything now? Jeez. Downstairs. Well, I assume it's behind this door, Mika, um, because they're saying that they've. I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. So I'm only assuming that her greatest invention downstairs is behind this door that we need to open. I'm trying to move stuff. Basement. Even when I do, it happens. Study, kitchen, dining hall. I mean, we, we don't even know if A, all of the bells are used, B, if any of the bells are repeated in any sort of way. I mean, I wouldn't have thought the bells would be repeated. Um assuming that 
study kitchen dining hall is the right order. I mean, you could try and brute force a one combination. Well, assuming, assuming study kitchen and office are correct, then um, they're going to be there's going to be some bells that use multiple because I just tried all the other combinations with those three at the front, and nothing happened. So, for some reason, I don't even think that's what should be doing right now. I don't know. I just feel like we're chasing after something that's not there. Kind of like there was other, like the feathers in the in the paper. I mean, that this seems more legit, but there's nothing really to go on enough to do anything. But we need to catch the train. So, seems to me that we need to figure out how. Or not how, but where coordinates are for the train. Which. Uh, oh, hold on, maybe that's what the. Do, do you have your pocket watch on one of your screens? No, I don't have the pocket watch on this one. At all, anywhere. Nope. I, I mean, I I literally have nothing. I've got nothing. The only things I've got are, well, the only things I can interact with are the two books in the uh, clock shop after hours. The six bells in the house, and that's it. That's all I can interact with. Mm -hmm. I mean, are you able to? I'm just like clutching at straws here. Are you able to, um, like alter anything on the the watch itself, or? Am I able to what? Are you able to adjust anything on the watch at all? Nah, like, a, no matter what I do, I tried, like, clicking and dragging and all that. The only thing I can do is click it and it brings it up close, zoomed in, and then click it and it goes back. Uh, Once the lid yeah. is closed, test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. This should initiate the extraction process. The hell's the extraction process? That, well, I, I took that as like when we did the little time warp funnel thing. When everything is set for optimal accuracy, wind the clock up by turning the right gear clockwise twice. Once the lid is closed, test the experiment by setting the clock to 12 and this should initiate the extraction process. Yeah, well, that has to, you have to be able to ring the bell. You got the bell. Where, where are the bells? I, I'm, I'm, where are the bells? The bells are in the house. 
Okay, so that is that's your downstairs or upstairs? I, I literally I click on the house and I just go into this room and that's all I've got. I've got a room with six bells on the wall, a door, and then the note which basically says, play our secret melody and I'll open the door. And from left to right, it's kitchen, front door, study, music room, office, dining hall. Okay. Uh, it has to do with the secret melody. Three one one. Yeah, I try. I mean, I tried all the combinations of those, both chronological, like the numerical order of the bells, plus the numerical order of the way we found the rooms that we know: the study, the kitchen, the dining room. But nothing opens the door. Uh, uh, hold on, uh, let's see, that, yeah, that has nothing there's no, to do there's, there's no rooms to the left or the right, it's literally just up and down, you can move, right? Yeah, exactly. Alright, alright, let me read, let me read this again. See, I've been working on this iteration for one year now, the study. So we know this, the studies one, you have to really well like you did with the two kit, the two kittens and the pantry. One, kitchen, kitchens two. Uh, yeah, I see what it's saying. Yep, 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 yep. I've been working on this iteration for one year. One year is the study. One, one year study. Two uh, cats two in the kit, kitchen. Two kittens, two kittens, pantry, kitchen. Five years, so five uh, dinner table. Yeah. Ring them like that. Okay. So ring the study once, the kitchen twice, and the yeah, I've done it. All five I've times. done it. I've done it. I can go down now. Hey. <laughs> Dang. I got something in a barrel. I got a barrel hanging. I'm just clicking on it to break it by the looks of it, and it looks like there's a watch inside. Okay. Huh, nifty. I have a pocket watch, and I think it's the same pocket watch that you've been... Yeah. But the code is different. Uh, okay. So... Does, so does okay, the so minute hand move and... Yeah. But my code is different to what you've been telling me. So it starts off at 12, goes to 15, back to 12 twice three times 15 six and that's it so hold on let me write that down so we start at 12 so 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 12 3 12 12 12 12 3, 3 6. 12 12 12 3 6, three, six. yeah and then okay. it goes to 12 and resets so it's the okay. same. It's the same sort of presses, but I've just got different combinations to you. All right, hold on. All right, let's. Uh, twelve. And then mine. Hold on. Twelve. Twelve. Three. Six. So mine's I already know. Mine's three. 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 Six. Three. Six six three. Okay. I, I want to try something. Uh, three twelve. I want to go 12, back to when it was open. Twelve. Hold on. Twelve. Three twelve. Twelve. Twelve three six. And I clicked out the game somehow. the fuck I 
didn't work. Let me go from three. Go from three to nine. Three, twelve, 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 three, six, one. Not it. Oh, not this, not this. Maybe I don't need to. Maybe I don't need to um, do anything after six. Back to when the uh, when the shop is open. It's a three o'clock, yeah. Yeah. Well, you gotta get past three because that would be a quarter till three there. Well, if I go three, I'll be quarter to four. So shop's open, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I got nothing though in the shop still. Literally nothing. The only thing I can interact with when the shop's open is the just a picture and that's it. But there's nothing on the picture. You still got Didn't you have a plant in a box and Yeah, yeah, they're still there, but I can't do anything with them. With uh you got a lamp? Yeah. All that's still exactly the same. Yep. See, I, I only get a chime when I put your watch code in, but nothing happens from what I can see. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Tiffany? Hold on, hold on. I feel like I've tried everything on my end. Yeah, we haven't tried everything. Well... Obviously, but I feel like I've tried everything. <laughs> what was your code again? It was um, three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. You yeah. stupid idiot! The clock is the directions you need to press the buttons for the train. So it's my code first, then your code. So go onto the train panel. You there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously 12 is up, three yeah. is right, six yeah. is down. Yeah. So it's, right. my code was right. up one, right one, uh, oh. Yeah, I got it. Okay, you got it written down. Cool. Uh, let's see, mine is three. Chit ching. Why didn't we think of that sooner? I mean, that's. 
I go say, I mean, I was kind of thinking along the lines, but I was like, how would that work in there? But I never thought about the simple fact that it's the, the up, down, left, and right error key yeah, but to, for 15, to, 30. To be fair, though, from only knowing your code, it wouldn't work because you start in that bottom left corner and your code was 3336. Three, three, well, you can go across to the right three times, but you can't go down. So it wouldn't work for your code alone. So it's maybe why we didn't put that association together. Have you clicked on your choo right. train? Okay, chapter three. It was easier than I thought to extract time from animals. Now I had to learn how to do the same with people. I knew Lark wouldn't want to harm the people who went into the clock, so I decided to give them a way out. Okay, 1937. Oh boy, okay, so... Okay, we've got something different here. The clock's still there, but we've got like a church now where the train was or is that more of a, I think it's probably just a different station is it uh, I don't know yeah, it, looks like it has a gate and there's six light bulbs you can turn on and it lights up the gate well my I don't know if yours light up the same but mine light up sort of like the top six yeah same okay so you see you got your uh, track train track thing on the bottom left right yeah that's the one that All we right. just did uh, so, we got more more lights on all the other screens so six okay. on each one so the it's raven's clock raven's clock lights up to six on that side and so yeah, on. yeah yeah so it's basically finding out the code um so you got 12 on each thing just trying to think if there you can apply that to time in some way but maybe i'm overthinking things at the minute um all right, where do you want to head to first? Uh, I was just trying all the lights. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, going to the clock place. Oh, wow. Clock place. Oh, you can go downstairs. The clock shop. It's a bit dark. Yeah, it is at the top. But you go downstairs, and I just turned the machine on. Should a picture of a bird. Okay, I've just got three dots, so. And then if I leave it too long, it just turns itself off. So I guess it waits for an input. So I guess I've got to do your inputs. Three, two, one, and Raven. Raven. Like and snake. Three dots. Snake. Okay, snake. Uh, nine. I haven't got a nine. nine. Mine's nine, machine's nine turned off. Um, no, mate, it's all right. Machine's turned off. All right. Let's turn it back yeah, on. Yeah, you have a minimum amount of time. All right. Three, two, one. And Raven. Snake. Six. So it's the butterfly. How is that six? I'll just, just click it. Dang it. I'm, I'm, I'm clicking six? it on mine and it was fine. So just because it rotates around and whatever it happens to be, whatever number, that's the one you got to click. I'm telling you. Yeah, but my my number my number is different to yours. All right, Raven. You got to we got to call them out. So we got to call out what's on them. So it's the only way it's gonna Raven's work. one snake. Oh dang it! Hold on. Double click. All right. Raven's four spot, now Snake is six spot, but that doesn't matter. Butterfly. Right, number two, Butterfly. Click the no, Butterfly. That didn't work for me. Well, son of a bitch. Alright, so how do you do... What is Raven, what you mean? Snake. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, shit. Okay. We got nine of these to do. 
Okay. I've got to press the ones on the screen as well. Yeah. You weren't doing that? No, I, th I thought I was only putting, putting your ones. Uh, no, I'm, I'm doing all of them. Okay, right. Because they're going to light up nine, and I, was, I assume the ninth one is the keyhole in the middle, but all right. No, the, 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 so. the middle one is five. It goes... One, yeah, one, 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 two, one, two three, three across the top, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, All right I hit the raven. Raven snake. snake. All right, number four, which is butter, uh, dragonfly. What you got? No, so the, this, this is not working. Nah, it just goes to dot, dot, dot. All right, three, two, one, turning on. All right, raven. Raven, snake. Butterfly. Nope. Five. Now, middle one. Middle one. Nope. Mine was seven. Raven, snake, butterfly, middle one. And then what was at your position seven? Uh, now Man. it's our, our hand. Raven, snake, I mean, uh, uh, hourglass, butterfly, I mean. five, hourglass. All right, we'll try that. Turning on. It changes every freaking time. Raven, Butter snake, butterfly, butterfly okay, yeah, key, hourglass, four, cog. Uh, dang it. I had, a, I had a wolf plus two. Right, so I just had a four with a downwards pointing arrow, so it's position that was position four, but the one diagonally right from position four, if that's any use to you. So Yeah, that would have been that would have been hourglass this time. Alright, so uh we've got Raven Snake, Butterfly, five hourglass cog that are confirmed. So three Two, one, raven, snake, uh, butterfly, middle one, hourglass, cog, up to you. Damn it. What did you get after cog? Uh, uh, all right, raven, raven, snake. Uh, butterfly. Five. Uh, the, the middle, then cog. No, hourglass, right. then cog. Uh, hourglass, then cog. Crap, alright. Alright, right. raven, snake, snake. Butterfly. Butterfly. Middle. Hourglass. Cog. Uh, number. Uh, ladder, 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 child, bug. Um, snake, uh, wolf, feather, raven, uh, girl minus one, which would be snake, middle. Uh, cog. Um, snake. Uh, raven. Escape. Last one. Ladder. No! What? No, it was a key, wasn't it? Oh, shit. Damn, that was the last one. Alright, start it now. We got this right. now. Raven. <laughs> snake. Raven. Snake. Butterfly. Butterfly. Number five. Hourglass. Cog. Railway. Ladder. Dull. Uh, uh, crap. I, well, it gave me a left. I don't know what that meant. So that means position um, one. No, I thought I meant saying go to the left two. Okay, never mind. 
Alright. Starting. Uh, Raven. Snake. Snake. Butterfly. Middle. Uh, hourglass. Cog. Cog. Ladder. Doll. Yep. Uh, bug. Butterfly. Snake. Uh, wolf. Raven. Uh, snake. Uh, middle. Uh, uh cog. Snake. Uh, Raven. Middle. Southwest. Okay. And I've got northeast. I got well, I got south and southwest. I got northeast twice, so Okay. I got so south I think, and southwest. So I think we need to turn on possibly four lights, maybe. Well Yeah, but the, the southeast and uh, whatever wouldn't that be in the mail room? Uh, could be. Because you, you don't have any. Uh, you only have four locations on the on the clock part. This is. Uh, you got I south and southwest, it. yeah. Uh, south and southeast. All right. So uh, I think we're done at the house. Oh, we got uh, radio. We got more on the regular radio. Okay, it's starting with you. Go to the radio. Yeah. The patients from the nursing home in Hillbeak have vanished in the middle of the night. The talented Amelie Raven was returned to Switzerland. She is determined to reopen and bring back glory to Raven's clocks. The police are looking for anyone who is in the vicinity of the nursing. Um, yesterday evening, they are asking for assistance finding the missing patients. The post office's water damage is repaired, and all post boxes are ready to be used again. There was already a letter on post box thirty-four. Okay, thirty-four. Um, the tragic nursing home incident has reopened old wounds in our village. We. I hope these disappearances won't remain unsolved like those five years ago. We have no news when train service will return to our... Village again. The station is now permanently closed. Clarissa Shah, the generous benefactor of our new clock tower, died last... month. At the opening ceremony next week, we will honor her memory. So 34 south, southeast, and then yours. All right, so let's hey, go to the post office. I, I don't have the boxes this time. All right, so I've got 44, 46, uh, 34. Thir thir yeah, 34. Oh, okay, so, so I've got my compass points. Yeah. Yeah, just put them on the two on the same one as yours and then mine on the okay. bottom and the bottom right. So I've got a telegram. It feels oh, like crap. I was gone for such a long time. But for all the time I was away, I still feel it still felt short, too short to f finish my invention. Now we will have long the longest lives ever, longer than you could imagine. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. All right, I got a Morse code thing. I got a, a light bulb on the left, speaker in the middle, and a little Morse code tappity tap thing on the right. Okay, box 16 is open, which is interesting. Just sort of looking around here. Hold on, just yeah, turn my speaker. I need yeah, two secs, two secs. Okay, no, it's nothing.
When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. Which will mean that I need the Morse code for the message. And I need to know the dots and dashes. Okay. I've never memorized my Morse code. Okay, well, I've gone to the house just quickly. And I've got like a telephone. Okay, so do I. And it's got different messages. I've got four, six, seven, eight, nine, plus, and squiggle. I got one, two, three, four, asterisk, pound, and zero. And each time you press on one, it gives you a different line of text. Okay, yep. Uh, one was pouring down and made me scared. Two, hey there. I'm so glad you finally. Three earlier, but you never mind, are you still? <laughs> okay, so part of it's yours and part of it's mine. Four, know that before I made you something to keep. Where you named Cole, I made a new one for you. Okay, then you click the receiver room and it starts. Astro, you say many messages. Wait, I know you're still. And no, it's not the same, but please just go see for. I think you've, I think we've just got to rearrange these into the right order. And get the right sentence sort of that's, going out. Yeah, See you later, Miko. Take it easy, buddy. Catch you later. Well, I already know what my first one is because it's capital letter. Hey, Lark, I'm so glad you finally. Nope. Finally. Finally. Nope. Um, you know your raven went missing. I didn't think I've got like a Uh, something about a raven. Um, I think it's a combination of both of ours. It's not just a one sided conversation here. It's my fault. Right. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that makes sense. I, so, I think I, I think I have the first one. I was gonna say I've got no, I've got nothing that would like. I, I know it's just thinking basic English terms. I've got none with a capital letter that would start a sentence. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got the first. I got the first one. And it's hey, Larry. I'm so glad you finally. Finally. Decided to pick up the phone. I've been leaving. So something about you messages. Said, yeah, I've been leaving you so many messages. Wait, I know you're still. Uh, I've got that somewhere. Something about being mad. What's the previous line again? It's either mad or angry. Read your last one again. Uh, hey, Larry, I'm so glad you finally blah, blah, blah. Left you so many messages. Wait, I know you're still angry, but don't hang up on me yet. I really want you to. Uh, really want 
you to know that before I left, I made you something to keep. Made you something to keep. Uh, it's upstairs. Maybe. Something to keep. Uh, that before I left, oh, I you something to keep. It's either something to keep. At, so, hold on. Something to keep. No, be to, to keep you company. I would have told you. Uh, that before I left, I made you something to keep you company. I would have told you. Are you still? Seven, five, so it's either, are you still there? Hold on. Yeah, because it's like, are you, still, you, are you still there? Mind. Are you still? Yeah. You know your raven that went missing, the one. That's all I got. Oh, uh, yeah, you named. Call K O L. I made a new one for you, comma. Um, it's upstairs, and it's even better. This one cannot die. And that's and that's two so after stop. four three zero. Oh. So that's seven five nine squiggle eight. Hey, I got a ladder. Oh, okay, yep. So then I've got some uh, letters of the alphabet and a bird in a cage. Yeah, I got gears. I got pieces of paper with drawings of gears, uh, gears and a wing. Uh, the Raven, uh, the Morris Cave, but it's also on a clock, 12 through 6, 9. Go you got the Morse two. code, because I think the, if you've got some Morse code there, I potentially need to... Well, I, I, got the, that, I got the little, you know, that, that, that part of it where you tap one on the left half. The right half is a Raven head, and then out around it is the clock. With an error going in a, a, a clockwise. What that means, I don't know. Uh, and the raven said, looks like a key on another piece of paper, which goes into uh, goes into this piece of equipment I have here. And. Uh, something else like yeah I need to turn the gear uh, that's the uh, how to put together this is basically showing me how to put together these pieces and stick it in this machine okay but I don't have any pieces to work with so yeah I mean I've, I've just got the mechanical raven that's locked in a cage and then I've got three rotary dials with letters, uh, which is set to ZZZ. And I've got a couple of like, what look like Greek symbols as well. Uh -huh. 
Sounds like we need to go somewhere else. Okay. I'm, I'm guessing because I can't do anything. I gotta remember the lights. So. That... What if we go to Raven's shop? I don't think it really matters, but. in their hours sort of thing. Is there anything different in Raven's Clock now? Well, you can redo the puzzle, but it's already solved. <laughs> well, yeah, you don't need to, though, because it tells you your thingies on the two dials above it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's already soft, so there's nothing else on that. And even when you cut it off, I think he's running. <laughs> there's nothing else upstairs. It's the radio. It feels like I was gone for such a long time. But for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Too short to finish my invention. Now we will have the longest lives ever. Longer than you could imagine. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. But, uh, okay, so... Yeah, this piece of paper I have... One in particular that has the Morse code thing on the left hand side. It's basically a circle, a line straight down through the middle, and then on the left side of the of the pie, if you want to call it that, is the Morse code thing. The right hand side has the image of the Ravens like a mechanical head. It's got uh, the six six little circles around the outside in between 12 and 3 and so on representing the light bulbs and it has okay. 12 3 6 and 9 so it's going to have to do with the morse code being relayed and then that i'm imagining would tell us what the uh which light bulbs light up um, Other than that, I mean, I have nothing else. I don't know. I have, yeah, I have nothing else to go on. Unless, uh, the clock, something different with the clock after hours. Yeah, I, I looked at, I looked at the clock shop in and out of hours. Uh, and I can't see anything different. Well, I can tell you this, the, uh, when I go to the where the train station was, remember what, before when I did the little ding? Now it's doing a big old gong bell tower kind of ring. Okay. Is that when you go forward in time? Yeah, same. Uh, gonna... We don't a actually have a clock here. Tell us what time it is. No, you just have to use the arrows down below. Uh, okay, yeah. Well, I'm at 12 o'clock now. So let me get it at 3 o'clock. I mean, I, cha I changed it to 3 and went to the clock shop, but nothing really seemed to change.
Well, I've been all the way around and I didn't find anything. K-L-L. K-O-L. Oh, O-L. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that's woken the raven up. I'm smacking around a little bit. <laughs> Alright, that's giving me the Morse code. That would be helpful. All right, yep. are ready? Oh, I think. Okay. I eat that last one. Upstairs. Oops, wrong one. Need to go to the. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Dot dash dot dash 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 dot dot dash 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 dot That's it. Nah, that's not it. Let me jot it down a minute, hold on. Dot dash. Dot dash. 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 Dot. Dot. Dash. 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 Dot. So we've got dot dash. Dot dash dash dash. Dot dot dash 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 dot. Where, where are you getting? Because okay. that when when you gave me before was uh, like I have an area next well, right above the little thing, and it and it ended and went away and then restarted at the top left again, as if there were too many digits. Okay. Um. Are, are you in the post post office? No, I'm, I'm in the house because that's um, it's the Raven itself which is giving me the Morse code. I mean, you all of Telegram, didn't you? I did, yeah.
but it doesn't really give me much. Just says at, at the end, it just says, when you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. But I've repeated the message like, looked at the message like countless times now. Hold on. It feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short. Too short to finish my invention. Now we will have the longest lives ever. Longer than well, you could uh, imagine. I said that, so apparently right when I asked that, so I haven't heard anything you've said. Let me, where's my stupid? Perfect time. Silent. <laughs> All right, so it says it feels like I was gone for such a long time, but for all the time I was away, it still felt short, too short to finish my invention. Now we will have the longest lives ever, longer than you could imagine. When you've repeated this message, I'll guide your way. So repeat, got to repeat that message. Which I assume is repeating the Morse code from the Raven. Uh, it sounded like you said a lot of versions of short and long. Ah, okay, okay. So in that case, let's do dash dot dot dash dash yeah I think so long time long is dash short is dot dash dot dot and then uh, dash dash I it. Like I said, and then I'll do it twice and so dash dot dot dash dash. Yeah, I got it. Uh, okay, now I'm getting the off on sequence from the light bulb, which is. Uh, so we got, you, I, I guess you got the pencil paper handy, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just right. Uh, Ones and zeros for on off. Uh, off on, off, 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 on, 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 off, on, on, off, and that's it. That should be. Was it six? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, yeah. I was gonna say it should be twelve. So that's all twelve of the spots. Well, now that's only that's only half of it. Okay, so that that goes back to my drawing then. That would be the more scared half, which is the left half, and then the raven head half. So we need the the the, the raven for the right half of, of the. Uh, yeah, well, I've, I've written the, the raven down as Morse code, but let me go back and write it down as ones and zeros to match up with yeah. yours. And then we should have it then. I'll put DW there and I'll put me here. All right. 
Off, on. Off, on. On, on. Off, off, on. On, on, off. Okay. So do you want mine or yours? Uh, I'm just going to do mine first. You do yours first and then we'll swap. Well, I've, I've got nowhere and to put just... it in, though. Oh, you don't have a gate? Yeah, you do. You said you did. Oh, oh, yeah. oh sorry. Yeah, of course. The gate. Of course. Sorry. Yeah, and then there are light bulbs all the way around. <laughs> so my half will be player two, won't it? I suppose. The right-hand side. One, two, three, oh, zero. Oh, oh, oh. One. Off. Off, on, off. Off, off, on. Uh, I don't know if Simic is left or right. Oh, I never thought about that. Top. I never thought about that. I've just gone from the top for my side. Yeah, I think mine's from the bottom, because that would have to be from left to right. Otherwise, it'd be backwards, I think. I think yours is probably from the top to bottom. That would make sense. All right, so let me flip yours. So zero one zero 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 one 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 zero. Yeah, got it. Let me know when you want mine. All right, go ahead. All right. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I think I'm missing something. Let's see the last two. I do have two there. Oh, now they're making noise when I cut them on. Do I have to do them in order? Uh, I started for yours. I started at six. And then work my way around back to 12. I went 12 yeah, to make... 6. Yours went 6 to 12. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, hold on. I guess he... It's not letting me enter the last... It makes different sounds depending on what you put in. You, uh... uh, that's... One on, on, off, off, on, off, on, off, uh, off, two, three, off, off, on, off, 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 on. Off, on, off, 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 on. Yeah, that's wrong freaking one. And then, oh, I'm on this page. Okay, so half. Okay, never mind. Jesus. Yeah. I, the, the ones I was trying to hit were not at the clock tower. The, the three on the left at, at, the, at the train station are, are mine, and the three on the right are yours. Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's why I so, said yours, right, yours run 6 to 12, and mine run 12 to 6. Yeah, and I, I, I screwed up with myself on the. I was doing them as chunks of 6 as opposed to. Yeah. The left three on the train station page being mine and the right three being yours. Never mind, I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, so uh All right, mine is uh oh, off. Hold on. I, I still I still got the one wrong, I think. Hold on. Off 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 one off. Off off one. Dang it, off one off. I don't know how I changed I had that right. Uh off, on, off, off, on, on. Uh, 
that's that one says the one after. Jesus, uh, what the hell? 12, 12 digits, Death Wish. 12 ones, 12, <laughs> six ones, six zeros. It's not rocket science. <laughs> no, it's the damn order of which they're. I mean, not that, but okay, alright. I finally got straight. I was looking at the wrong sets of three on each one. All right, go ahead. All right, so it's off, on, off. On, on, right. on. Off, off, on. Okay. On, on, off. And twinkle, twinkle, open the gate. I am inside. Excellent. I will click on the door. All those years in Switzerland made it possible for me to finally finish the clockwork. My last memory of Laic was the suspicious frown on her face. That's what I get when I click the ladder. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the second floor now. Uh, double check Larrick's clock. It ran exactly as it should. At first, she didn't want the clock. She said she was tired of my presence. Uh, it didn't occur to me that a crack in the clock face would make a difference. I held it out to her anyways because I needed her to be with me. Oh. There's some bottles with numbers on them. Yeah. Alright. I had I spent years collecting time for us. Time that would be added to our lives. Oh, I never, time added. I never told her that the time was stolen. Only that the clock would let us be together forever. Stitch disappeared into the clock. I still haven't found her. More and more bottles. Up, oh, click the uh, middle bottle, unlabeled bottle, and now magical light goes in. She closed her hand around the clock, and I never saw her again. And the magic number appeared of 120, with a blue light in the bottom. I got 129. And now I'm looking at the clock. I didn't have to build a way out. I hope you and your friend appreciate it. You beat the game. Such a shame to see all that time go to waste. Oh, I guess it's telling you, us that we played for an hour, two hours and something. Yes, yeah, it says you have lost 120 minutes of your life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Emily had it. 120 minutes to hers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you lost time. Ha ha. Yeah, I got, yep, that's it. Well, that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was. Shame it's um, shame it's quite so short, really. That's the only sort of downside to it, I would say. Yeah, I think it might be one. Of, maybe it's one of those if they uh, maybe they'll do another one and make it a lot longer. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you right. know, saying that, I mean, it still took us like two hours to solve, you know, three chapters effectively. But it's only because we spent so much time freaking not putting together. Um, <laughs> clock faces to uh, train directions. Exactly. Congratulations, Conclan, you win. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad it's sort of finished actually in a way because uh, it's getting pretty late here, so I should probably uh, go go to bed and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's almost eight o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> almost one o'clock. Uh, everybody, yeah, guys, whatever, whatever, thank you. Whatever very you say, much. Conclan, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm sure we've just played Destroyed Aperture in there somewhere as well. Um, anyway, thanks yeah. very much for watching, guys. <laughs> uh, everybody on YouTube, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, till next time.
Adios. Goodbye. Thanks, Deathwish. Bye. Thank you. Peace out. Later.